What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, it took me a little bit of time to get back to another video, but that's because I'm a little busy. We're going to do this video today, but we also may be getting back to doing our live hangouts, our podcast on Saturday. So stay tuned for that. I'll let you folks know. All right. So this video is about Banu. Now we know Banu. We've looked at this rock before. It's actually an asteroid, uh, approximately 1,640 feet at the equatorial region. Now I find it interesting, just the shape of this rock. Okay. It seems like every time the powers that be go after these rocks, could be any three or four letter space program, they go after these rocks and they're just got these wildest shapes. Now, what's the chances of just finding these particular shapes, you know, whether it's a comet or asteroid, right? It's just really weird. Now, I'm not saying Mother Nature can't produce these, right? Um, nature, space, whatever can produce these different sized rocks, like any rock here on Earth, uh, just much larger, right? So let's just jump into this and have a better look. All right, you can see right here, this page here, it's EOS, and it's all about Banu, a rubble pile with a lot of surprises. Now this was, you can see right here, asteroid Banu has been under close scrutiny since December. Now keep in mind, this is from 2019. Here are six key results from the first few months of data from OSIRIS-REx, which was the spacecraft and the orbiter that went to this asteroid, right? Now, I told you the dimension as far as equatorial region was 1,640 feet. Pretty small, but a good-sized rock, right? Look at the shape of it. It's not the first time we've seen rocks this weird shape, almost like this diamond shape kind of thing going on, right? But what we're going to do is I'll show you this photo here. And what we're going to do is we're going to rotate this. You can see right here on the 7, 8 o'clock position, you got this large rock sticking out of the edge of this asteroid, right? We're going to rotate this about 180 degrees, so it's around 10 o'clock position, okay? Now, I'm going to show you a couple little features in here that just quite don't look natural, right? Now, it's not going to be as revealing as 67P, Churimanoff, but nonetheless, we can see some objects in here. Are they natural, folks? Are they unnatural, right? Let's just jump right into Photoshop and have a closer look. Okay, you can see right here you, that that rock is now at the, about the 10, 11 o'clock position. And what we're going to do, folks, is we're going to have a close look at the stock photo. Nothing enhanced or any of that sort. So what I did was I started to use... AI to enhance these. This is what I noticed about AI. You can find where it looks like they had manipulated these photos and it actually shows a little bit more. I'm going to show you this right here. I'm going to put it in the middle and I'm going to have you folks take a look at this. Okay. I call this like, um, it looks like digital bacon, right? <laughs> For lack of a better word, kind of funny, but what's underneath and you can see it right here, just a bits and pieces of white. You might say, well, not a whole lot, Chris. I don't see a whole lot going on and you'd be correct. But look at that. That's just weird how that looks like that. Okay. Let's go to the top where that large boulder is right here. Put it in the middle of the screen. Now, do you folks see anything really weird? More precisely, the whited area. Okay. When I looked at this, I was just like, no, this can't be. There's just no way that this thing can be the shape that it is on this rock. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this, folks. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fully enhance this. Now there's other manipulation here in the way, but you can see it actually goes like this. Let me just go ahead and round that a little bit. Comes up like this and kind of looks like it does this, at least from the raw photo, right? Now you will see some blurriness because this is because of the AI. So it has a watermark in it. I'm using like a trial thing. I want to see if it's going to be okay to use or not. Uh, and this one seems to be pretty promising. So we're going to run with it. Okay. Uh, little objects like this. This thing is just, it just looks weird all the way around. It almost looks like some kind of weird air inlet, if you will. Now I'll show you the shape of this and just, just a shadow of it alone. Okay. It's doing this coming down right here on the asteroid. Okay. It looks like it's doing this. And then we have what looks like it's doing this here at the back side of it, if you will. And it's doing this here. Okay. So we can see a shadow right here. It's right here in the right hand uh, face of it, if you will, right here. Okay. What are the chances of that shape being on a rock, a simple rock, right? Now, let's just do this. Let's just back up. I'm going to do the fully enhanced. So when I looked at this, folks, this is far from being natural. Up here, like I showed you earlier, just this pot sticking out of the rock and what's under it, to me, 
says unnatural, intelligently made. We have things that look like just simple panels, right? Underneath this manipulation, and you can see it right here, and I'm going to show you this, right here on this very left one, you can see there is this manipulation over it, but you can see the shape of this white piece. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom into this a little bit so you can see this, okay? You can still see the white you can see it right here, clear as a bell. I'm going to put a line right here on the left-hand side of it, right there. And then we're going to go right here. You can still see the white going through. Wait a minute. So what is this? This is manipulation over these shapes. You can see those right there. Another one right here. I don't know what these are, folks. It's like bits and pieces of these, or I should say bits and pieces of maybe a shell of this object. I don't know. Pure speculation because we really, truly don't know the answer, right? This is what I showed you earlier where it looked like it had this weird striations kind of thing going on. You can see this, right? So let's do this. Here's the original. Again, the white is under it. Now you can see it. It's underneath this manipulation. Right? You can see that. Go back and forth. You can see it just starting to come out of there, right there. Enhance a little bit better. And you can see the shape of this, okay? It's actually there. Okay, so what could that possibly be? You can see other shapes underneath this manipulation. You have to drag it through the manipulation in order to find it. But here it is. Again, look at the weird shapes to these objects. They don't look natural. In my eyes, this looks like bits and pieces of an outer shell. Now, is it? I don't know. It looks to be that way. Another one down here. Again, we have this manipulation over this. Now, am I wrong about the manipulation? Is it possible that we have these white panels and this is like an outer skin that's been broken open? It's basically a camouflage. Is that a possibility? Okay, this right here. Again, we're seeing these weird white panels or something underneath this. We got areas like this. Almost looks like a broken open skin, if you will, right here. Now, this could very well be just nothing more than the manipulation, and that would not surprise me. We've seen many tactics to make stuff look natural, and clearly it is not, right? This area right here. Now, let's have a look at that other object that was up here at the top. This right here. Now, we looked at this earlier. What could this be? It almost looks like some kind of weird inlet or some kind of weird object that had been made and is sitting on this asteroid surface. We can see this right here. It looks like some kind of shadow in front of it. What could it be? What are the chances? Is it a possibility that while this rock is hurling through space, perhaps it went by planets that had their own orbiting satellites? Maybe it got close enough to those planets to smash them, and somehow we're seeing debris. Again, pure speculation on this, folks. However, we don't know the history of these rocks. We have no clue. And none of these powers that be know it at all either. Okay, so here is basically in a nutshell, a recap of what we're seeing on here. This one here alone, I didn't show you this here. This one right here uh, looks like this triangular shape type thing. That is in fact there. If we do this, you can see the shape of this. It's coming down right here, coming down like this, going like this and coming back up. If I enhance it, you can see that. What are the chances of that shape being here? Now, I'm going to point out, I'm going to go back and forth of these outlines, and we can have a look at these different objects, okay? Now, I've already showed you these other three will look like panels of some kind of weird things on the side of each other, right down here, lower left. I'm going to get way down here. Get these all in the middle of the screen right here. Again, look at these. That's crazy. Maybe something blew up or debris or something just hit this rock. Come down here. We can see this right here. You can see where I've mocked this other one off. Just a simple outline and little lines right here in the middle. It's kind of like 67P when we looked at it. It kind of had that weird look like they were panels, meaning it was the outside. Now, we don't know if this is all manipulation that's over it. And they're trying to hide all these white uh, objects. Or... It is part of the skin to camouflage it, to make it look natural hurling through space. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring this out, just back it out a little bit. Here's the original. Fully enhanced right there. 
Have a look at that. Get your magnifiers out, your eyepieces, whatever it is. Folks, tell me what you think this stuff is. All natural? Or do you think it's some kind of weird construct? Is it completely artificial? Is it instruments or something on this rock? A lot of these things do not look natural. There you go. You folks be the judge as always. All right, folks, tell me what you think. When I see this rock and these other rocks we've been analyzing, it looks like we have some kind of construction, something living on it, or is it completely artificial? You know, like some people claim our moon is, it's completely hollow. Is that a possibility that that's not natural at all? As always, folks, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Please like and share the video. It's always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube shares it. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.